Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be making a simple shrimp fried rice. There are so many different ways to make fried rice, but this particular recipe is one that I find myself going back to all the time, especially when I have some leftover rice and way too many frozen vegetables in the fridge. This is a recipe you can make anytime, only takes a few minutes, and I think it's fair to say it is also relatively healthy as well. So let's get started. Today we're going to be using the following ingredients. Cooked jasmine rice, some shrimp, all the frozen vegetables in my freezer, coconut oil, chopped onions, fresh garlic, shallots, curry powder, and a seasoning cube. So to start off, I'll marinate the shrimp in a bowl. And to season, I will be using a good helping of garlic powder, some salt, red chili powder, red chili flakes for extra spice, some black pepper, in the absence of sesame oil, I'll be using sesame seeds and some all-purpose seasoning. And you want to just mix that all together. Okay. Next, in a pan, pour in some coconut oil. And just add in your shrimp and saute for about 3 minutes on medium heat. You want to make sure you flip them occasionally while they cook. Once they're cooked, take them out of the pan, but don't clean the pan because we want all that flavor from the shrimp as we continue to make the fried rice. So I'll just add in some more coconut oil. And the heat should be low to medium at this point. And then add in some shallots, not all because we're going to save the rest for later. And we'll also add in our onions and minced garlic. And just saute this for a minute or so. And make sure you really scrape in all that seasoning from the shrimp and mix it in because this really steps up the flavor profile. Next, I'll add in a generous helping of frozen vegetables. We have some peas and carrots, corn, extra peas, some more corn, more carrots, and edamame. And finally, some broccoli. And we'll just go ahead and mix that all together. I actually used to hate broccoli as a kid, I just couldn't stand it, but as I got older, I just got used to it, and now I really don't mind it at all, especially when it's still a bit crunchy. After cooking for about 2 minutes, I like to push the vegetables to the side and now we'll just add in some more coconut oil and re-add our shrimp. As you can see there's a tiny bit of leftover juice there and you need to add that back in no matter how small because there's good flavor there and the more the better. So I'll mix that all in and cook for another minute before adding in our cooked jasmine rice. You can use whatever type of rice you prefer. I personally recommend using jasmine or basmati rice. And I would say the key to a good fried rice is the fluffiness of your cooked rice. It needs to be not soggy, just mildly sticky, soft enough, and also dry enough. So start stirring the rice and mixing everything in. And at this point, I like to add in the leftover shallots. And I'll just continue mixing this together. 
This is where you can also go ahead and add in some curry powder if you want to add some color and fragrance to your fried rice, but that is completely up to you. After mixing, leave this to cook for a minute or two on medium heat, so the flavors develop a bit more and the shallots cook a little more as well. And after that, you are done. And this is the amazing final product. If you're extra like me, you can go ahead and add in even more chili flakes for extra heat. I like to think this steps up the presentation and gives the fried rice a little bit more character. What do you think? But there you have it, one easy way to make shrimp fried rice with frozen vegetables. And now there's only one thing left to do. Oh, it's so good. What I liked about this fried rice is that it was not oily at all. And I think that is a big benefit of using coconut oil, as it's not a very dense cooking oil. The shrimps were perfectly seasoned, and the rice and vegetables were fragrant and very tasty too. So make sure you give this a try and let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.